It's a very nice day in the Brooklyn hood. It's a very nice day for a Brooklyn hood. So please just you mind. Oh, please just you mind. Please just you mind your own business. Would you please? Could you please? Please mind your freaking business. Hey, boys and girls, I hope you're all good and you're being smart, little boys and girls, and you're keeping your social distance and wearing your mask. That's very important. You know why wearing a mask is good? Because it keeps you from giving the COVID to someone else. That's right. And it helps keep someone else from giving the COVID to you. And most importantly, it makes it much more difficult for someone to identify you if you committed a crime. And, you know, you were caught on a security camera. Gabish? Oh. Well, we've been getting so many letters lately. Now, I want to read a couple and see what's on your minds, okay? Now, this first letter comes from Billy from Pittsburgh. Billy is nine years old. Billy writes, Dear Uncle Vic, the other night I heard my mom saying, Oh God, oh God, oh God. And my dad was like saying, Err, 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 like he was growling like a dog. Is my dad hurting my mom, Uncle Vic? No, Billy. Your mom is fine. It sounds like your pops is playing hide the salami with your mom. Now, when you get older, you'll understand. But it's good for mommies and daddies to play hide the salami. Gabish, Dad cleans his pipes, and Mom walks a little bow-legged for a few hours. And when you get older and you become a daddy, then you'll also learn about what a gumara is. Okay. This next letter comes from Diane, who is from Atlanta. Diane is 12 years old. She writes, Dear Uncle Vic, I was at a school dance and some boy tried to kiss me. What should I do? I like him, but I don't know what to do. Should I kiss him? Okay, Diane, listen up. Your little friend wants a kiss? Then make him pay up, Gabish. You make him give you some nice jewelry, maybe a necklace, maybe a watch, and not that cheap crap that looks real. No, 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 you, you make sure you get nice things from the boys, okay? You understand? Now, as you get older and they want more from you, then you make sure they give you even nicer gifts like uh, a mink coat or a car or maybe just a nice box of cash. Hey, what's that noise? You know, boys and girls, always remember these words. I didn't see nothing. If you always remember to say, I didn't see nothing, then you never ever have to worry about getting someone pinched or getting yourself in trouble. You know what just happened when I looked out that window? Nothing. I didn't see nothing. Oh, it's my aunt. Her name is Pasta. Hello, Auntie Pasta. Yes. Hi. Yes, yes, yes. I'll stop at the pork store and bring you whatever you want. Yes, I can bring it to you now. Okay, okay. I love you too, Auntie Pasta. Bye-bye. Well, boys and girls, that was Auntie Pasta. She's a sweetheart. I need to go pick up some things at the pork store for my Auntie Pasta. You know, it, it's always fun to see my relatives, and, and since, you know, they're all getting older, it, it's just nice to be able to help them out by picking them up things at the store or, or whatnot. You know, once in a while, it, it's the little things to help out the older people. After I have some food with Auntie Pasta, I'm gonna go to the racetrack and play the ponies. Yeah. Well, boys and girls, it's been nice. 
I had a fun day. Did you have a fun day today? I certainly did. And I'll see you again. I'll see you again tomorrow, boys and girls. And always remember, it's a very nice day in the Brooklyn hood. It's a very nice day for a Brooklyn hood. So please just you mind. Please just you mind, please just you mind your own business. Would you please, could you please, please mind your freaking business. Ciao, ciao, boys and girls.